Hi guys, it's Mark from minipond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And today's video is all about pond pumps. You might have the question, what type of pond pump do I need for my pond? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go into five different pond pumps, not different models, but different types. So we're gonna talk about fountain pumps, we're gonna talk about in-pond pumps, we're gonna talk about solid handling pumps that need filtration to stop them pumping solids. We're also going to be talking about the most efficient pump that I've seen on the market for pumping the same amount of volume of water. Also, we're going to be talking about circulation pumps. Stay tuned for the Any Pond Showcase. So you might be having the question, Mark, what type of pond pump should I use? I'm all confused on there's so many different types of pond pump out on the market. Well, my Direct question to you is, what type of pond do you have? What do you want to do with the pump? It may be that you want to run a fountain. It may be that you want to run a filter. It may be that you just want circulation. So it's not actually pumping water out of the pond, but it's just circulating stagnant areas of your pond. So I've given you a little bit of a hint there. There's a pump for every single job. So if you're looking for a fountain pump or a water feature pump, then what you want to be looking for is a magnetic drive pump, which is one of these. As you can see, these particular pumps, they're quite a small, compact unit. These fountain pumps are designed specifically for pumping water up into spitters and decorative fountains. They come with a pre-filter and it's very simple to clean and pull these filters apart Yes, they require a little bit of maintenance, but it's a lot better than cleaning out the fountain heads. They stop them from getting blocked. If you didn't have a pre-filter on these, bits would go up and block the pipes and block the tubes. So then it becomes a little bit more maintenance. So the fountain pumps are what you need to run fountains or decorative water features. I use these pumps on some of the small pondless waterfalls then we move on to the pumps that go inside the pond. So this pump here is a lovely big pump and it's a solid handling pump. If you're putting the pump into the actual bottom of the pond, then you need a cage to stop that from getting blocked up. So if you've got a traditional fish pond with a bare liner, this is the pond pump that you need. It comes with a pre-filter on the edge of the actual pump itself. So you can literally chuck this in. Even when it's all covered with gunk, it will still perform really well. Then we move on to the SLD pumps. So these SLD pumps, they're designed for moving a lot of water up really high, but they're not designed for inside a fish pond. Because they're solid handling, because the impeller is way back, stuff will get through and they'll go up like a log flume. So it's designed for pumping bits, twigs, stones, everything that goes into these pumps will actually go through up until the filtration or it's up to the actual top of the waterfall. So these are designed for low maintenance so you don't have to clean pre-filters or anything on the pump. These are specifically designed to go inside your aquascape skimmer on the side of a pond so you've got a mechanical filter before it gets to this pump. Or it's designed for an intake bay or a skim cove. So you're pre-filtering the pond pump so it's not actually filtering out the bits. Or it's designed to go in a pondless waterfall system. So if you want a garden waterfall and you want a lot of water being pumped up really high, then the SLD pumps are fantastic for that they're, they're really really good they come adjustable so they have a a control panel so it's an adjustable pump and all you do is you plug this in with your three pin standard plug these pumps are made for the uk you can get the ones in the us as well but it's a different pump and these are the this is the control panel so you've got an option of going up to 10 so you can turn it right up from one all the way up to 10 and you can turn it on and off on the actual control panel as well. Also, there's an override switch at the bottom of the actual control panel, which will put it straight on to full capacity at 10. And sometimes if I just want um, to put the pump up to 10, I'll just override it. You know, let's say it's a party and you want a little bit more waterfall, then just crank it up to the 10. 
but they are specifically designed for moving a lot of water up really high, so they're not designed for inside a fish pond. They're very similar, they're the same sort of type of pump in the actual filter cages. They're asynchronous pumps, so they're very reliable and very powerful. Then we start talking about the Eco Wave pumps. These are designed for efficiency. This one here is an Eco Wave 2000, and it's unremarkable how much water it will pump for how much electricity it uses. So you've got four different types of pumps there. We've got a fountain pump designed to make sure that no bits go up into little fountains or decorative water features. Then you've got the in-pond pumps. So you've got a solid handling pump inside a, a solid cage. Then you've got the SLD. So that's designed to pump bits and designed to pump a lot of water very, very high. Then you've got the eco pumps, which are designed specifically for pumping a lot of water around the system, but they're not designed for pumping it up really high. So if you've got a high waterfall, you want the SLD pump. If you've got, you just want to do a lot of turnover for not a lot of money on electricity, then you want to use the eco wave pumps. I'm not going to go into specific details on the specific pumps. It's just this video is a broad spectrum. Now it may be that you don't actually want to pump water out of the pond, you just want to circulate stagnant water. Well that's when a power head comes into play. So what you've got is you've got a pump inside a cage, it's like a power head in an aquarium. These are designed for the ponds. So there's five different types of pond pump. So my name is Mark the Pond Advisor and I'm here to support you, dream, plan and enjoy ponds and water features. Until next time, I'll see you in another video.